So now guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Tom here today. I hope you guys there is going all well. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about cyber AI. Or as you guys can see, I will be opening up this bot, telling you guys exactly how to use it, giving my overall opinion and review of the bot. So let's just straight into it. Quickly before I get into today's video, if you guys are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do similar content to this. And also, guys, if you guys have just got this bot and you have no idea what you're doing, follow step by step what I'm doing and just watch the entire video because I'll break down each and every single little part of the program so you guys aren't lost in any part so let's start at the settings page as you guys can see you can't actually make the program full screen so we're going to leave it like this for now and if you go to the settings page you have the license key and i have a lifetime version of say cyber aio provided by one of my support members in my group so he's let me use this a copy of cyber to make this video so you can click reset license or show key stuff like that you can set up your monitor delays and your retry delays monitor delays is when your task is waiting for the release of the product based on your keywords or a link uh, what it basically does it mon monitors the site waiting for a product to come retry delay is basically when it retries to check out so that set amount is how many times it's going to keep on retrying to get the product for you that's your ca capture api key i've gone ahead and just uh, block that out then you can set up a discord or slack web hook so that's basically tasks that you want to test you can turn on desktop notifications i highly recommend that then you can contact support check for updates you can export all your stuff in here import everything and then you can save these settings so as i just made a, a change there i click save settings the notification came up i can click ok and boom we are done on the settings now going to billing billing is a very very slick way i want to be honest i've used a lot of bots and cyber AI billing it looks really nice so essentially you create a profile and let me go through so i'm gonna i've already created a personal one but i'm gonna create one called test for the purpose of today's video we're gonna create a random email here obviously in your guys's case you guys would actually create a correct um cut like profile based on real information because obviously that's what you want to be able to do so i'm going to create some random details here and then uh, obviously set this random just so we have something to use as a test task then obviously here type in your appropriate thing if you live in the uk then you type in uk and obviously state will be blocked out if you turn on if you turn off billing details i'm pretty sure that it will just want to run the billing details and use your delivery details as the same but if you want to ship to a different place as delivery details then that is fine i'm going to go ahead and turn that off though because i want it to be the same as that then one checkout per profile that basically means that let's say you're running for a certain place and you want to try to do more than one checkouts on one card you guys can actually do that but however let's say you guys are running for supreme i'd highly recommend you don't do that because obviously they do cancel duplicates so once you're done, you click save and your profile is done. If you go to select profile here, we have my person, which is called custom and the test one we just made. If you go to proxies here, you can add proxies and all these proxies, you can test them on different sites. So Shopify, Supreme, Mesh, Foot Sites, Off-White and Custom. Then obviously you can clear all your proxies and then go to add proxies and put it in the formation and one per line. Then you click add and I'm pretty sure when you do it, you can actually test it as well in the actions. Now moving on to the last complicated part of the video, this is actually pretty simple. I want to try to break it down as easy as I can. So we're going to go through tasks and I'm going to go through all the bombs. So, so as you guys can see, we have start all tasks, start all tasks, clear all tasks, and then add tasks. So let's go over ahead and go over here. So let's say I'm running for any of these sites. Cyber have a huge amount of sites. Let's say you're looking for, I don't know, Travis Scott is dropping something. You type in Travis Scott, it's your Shopify site. It will be there. They actually do have a drop list of all these sites they support on their website. So I will leave a link down below to that. But for the purpose of today's video, I'm, go, I'm gonna go ahead and use a random website. So uh, let's have a look here. Let's do JD Sports. Let's do JD Sports size. Mm, and let's do a random size here. And I'm, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a link here. So check out profile, you put test amount. I want one pair of shoes. Schedule a start. This is basically a schedule a start. So this is based off your computer's time. So it's not that if you've got American copy or UK copy, it's based off your computer's time. And I live in the UK. So obviously it's put to PM. It's put into similar time when I actually opened the bot. So 12.37. So let's say I want to drop at 12.40. I'll just put this to 12.40, but I don't want to use schedule a start for this. Specific proxy. Basically, if you turn this on, what this essentially does, it, it will use a specific proxy that you want to use however if you don't and just go through the pool of proxies you already have set up in proxies 
Now, once you've set up everything SKU, we need to go ahead and get that actually. Okay, so essentially we have gone for this pair of shoes. As you guys can see, my size that I've selected on the test profile is there, size nine, size nine is available. We've got the SKU set up nicely for this test. So essentially this is where the task is gonna be. Now, basically how tasks work for any type of site, Per task will obviously need a capture token. Now a capture or for you to solve a capture. Let me just rephrase that to make sure you guys don't get confused. So essentially, if you open up the capture queue, once you open this little sophisticated box, I'm gonna explain to you what's happening here. So as you guys can see, it's waiting for your uh, tasks to go ahead and fulfill the task that you specified it to. And essentially to verify that you're human when you're checking out the product, it will send you a request to solve a capture. So when you go to Google login here, I'm actually logged into my Google already. You essentially just need to log into your Google, nothing to uh, complicate and stuff like that. Once you do that, go back over here and you guys should be good to go. So then you just put that over here and upon request, it will ask for a capture. So before we actually run the task, I'm gonna go through the last thing, which is link change. If you guys are essentially uh, running tasks with other links, you guys can click F1 and then you guys can actually input the password or the link to change it if uh, there's a last minute change before the drop and uh, you want to be more accurate with your purchase okay so we're gonna go ahead and run the task it won't ask me for a capture just because on this site it won't however on the various other sites it will so please keep that in mind however when i do click this this should not work as you guys can see it's registering me as a customer and it's just not working because all my data is a bunch of gibberish but as you guys can see the bot does work fine so there you go there's it working in action. So guys, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, please drop a like. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I do loads of content such as this. I'll be bringing a lot more cyber AIO videos as well. Live cops, stuff like that. I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace out.